I'm Tony Aiello in Yonkers, where Mayor Michael Spano and Police Commissioner Christopher Sapienza are about to brief the media on the death of Yonkers Police Sergeant Frank Gualdino. Gualdino died in the line of duty Thursday evening. He was driving in an unmarked vehicle on Tuckahoe Road when another vehicle suddenly swerved into his lane and collided with him head on before hitting a beeline bus. Sergeant Gualdino was pronounced dead later Thursday evening at Jacoby Hospital in the Bronx. He had served with the Yonkers PD for 24 years. He grew up in Yonkers, a family that came here originally from Portugal by way of Brazil to Yonkers, where his father, Francisco, raised a family of four sons, one of them, Frank Gualdino, becoming a Yonkers police officer. To say that he was beloved in this department would be an understatement, and to say that there is somber here at the Cacase Justice Center, where the police are headquartered, would also be an understatement. A devastating day for the Yonkers police family. Let's listen in now to the mayor and police commissioner. Head of a, of a, of a just a prestigious unit in, in, um, in traffic. Uh, somebody that uh, is very, very well respected by the police officers of this department, by the community that he serves uh, by all of us here today. We will um, we offer our condolences to, um, to his wife, Lisa, uh, to his children, Emily and, and, uh, and Mark. Um, and uh, we know that uh, today, like I said, we, long, we mourn the loss of, of a sergeant in our, in our ranks. We also um, know that there is a 60-year-old who's fighting for his life right now who ought not have been on the road. But that's, uh, that's uh, not for today's discussion. Um, with that, uh, again, I want to say thank you uh, to those um, who were available to the Yonkers Police Department last night. New York City, as always, NYPD did an incredible job for us. Uh, state Police, Westchester County Police, uh, thank you to, uh, to them for stepping in and doing the things that they did. Uh, there will be others that we can thank, the commissioner will thank, uh, but uh, as usual, law enforcement coalesced uh, behind the families and behind the people of this department, uh, as they always do. And um, we want to say thank you for their support and their efforts. It was a long night last night. Uh, it was a sad night, um, but uh, uh, like I said, we'll, we'll mourn the loss of this officer. Let me turn it over for details to uh, the commissioner. Good morning. Yesterday we lost a great friend and a great cop, uh, Sergeant Frank Goldino. Frank was the victim of a horrible motor vehicle accident that occurred yesterday at approximately 3.30 p.m. on Tuckahoe Road in Yonkers. The sergeant and the bus were traveling westbound on Tuckahoe Road. The suspect vehicle was traveling eastbound on Tuckahoe Road. The preliminary investigation revealed the suspect vehicle traveling at a high rate of speed. It slid across the double yellow line on Tuckahoe Road and into oncoming traffic. We have a, a moment, we'll play the video real quick so you can see the video. That's what I figured. Sergeant Frank Aldino was 53 years old. He was the supervisor assigned to the traffic unit. He was hired in 1998 with 24 years of service. He survived by his wife, Lisa, his daughter, Emily, and his son, Mark. He was due to retire this August in nine months. He was recently acknowledged for saving the life of a three-year-old child while on a funeral detail uh, only a month or so ago. Frank was a great guy. He was a personal friend, and he was an asset to this job. He was a credit to this job, and he was a credit to the community. Uh, and this is a tragic, tragic loss for us. 
anyone has any questions, uh, we'll try to answer them. The, the driver, the suspect, uh, driving at a high rate of speed, what is it, alcohol, uh, medical incident, what are, we, what are we looking at? We're still conducting a thorough investigation as to every factor, but right now I can tell you that it looks like uh, basically reckless driving. You have a 16-year-old with a learner's permit without a driver's license, driving at a, an extreme high rate of speed in a very fast car. He was in a BMW M5, uh, which is an extremely fast sports car that he apparently couldn't handle. Uh, as you can see in the video, he loses control of that vehicle and then slams into the other two vehicles. Again, there might be other factors involved and we're going to investigate everything, but it seems the video uh, is pretty foretelling. He was alone in the car, sir? He was alone in the car. Is the car stolen? No, we do not believe the car is stolen at this time. Do we know who owns the car and is there a relation to the 16-year-old? I'm sorry? Do we know who owns the vehicle and is there a relation to the 16-year-old? Joe, do you want to? We do. We know who owns the vehicle and we've spoken to that person as well. And are they connected to the 16-year-old? Are they related? They are. They are. And where do they live? Are they in They're residents of the city of Yonkers. Including the 16-year-old? Yes. Yes. Has a 16-year-old ever been stopped before for the learning permit? This is an ongoing investigation, so we don't want to get into criminal history or any uh, previous uh, vehicle and traffic violations until we gather all our facts. First on logistic, can you spell uh, the sergeant's last name? And then on G-O-A-L. It's G U A L D I N O. What's the name of the restaurant? Just tell me. Clearly, as it was first said by you, it's a tight knit community, it's a city, but everyone kind of knows one another. Talk about the emotion that's going through the department right now, if you don't mind. Well, here in Yonkers, we have. Uh, approximately 620 officers. We're family. We all know each other, and we all know Frank. Frank is a close friend, and he's a cop's cop. This is the most horrible loss uh, th that we've sustained. What city is uh, Sergeant? I'm sorry? What city is he a resident of? Don't give it. We're not, we're not going to give his home address right now. Was he on his way to work, on his way home from work? Because it was an unmarked vehicle. No, he was he was on duty at the time this occurred uh, in an unmarked vehicle. And he just happened to be driving on that road just... Yes. So is, it fair, is it fair to say he would have been out there patrolling and looking for someone like this? Speedy. He wouldn't be patrolling specifically. Uh, Frank was a, a traffic unit supervisor. Uh, more than likely, he was out checking posts and uh, looking out for the various units that were out. I've been, I've been told he was a very caring individual. Can you give me an example of just how he looked out for members of the department, maybe yourself, maybe something that comes to mind? Uh, it, it, it's insurmountable. You know, Frank is the go-to guy. You know, a lot of times the traffic unit conducts funeral details. You know, when you lose someone close in, uh, in your family, Frank's guys are on scene. They're the ones uh, who are helping you out during some of your most difficult times. Uh, and they're the face of this department. The traffic unit is an elite unit. And they're the ones you see out on the side of the road looking sharp, uh, again, going after people that are breaking the law and violating vehicle and traffic law. And they're a caring and great bunch. Like I just noted, he saved the three-year-old boy's life in October. You know, during one of these funeral details, uh, you know, a three-year-old boy became unconscious and he broke off from the, the funeral detail and rushed this kid to the hospital and saved his life. That's the kind of guy Frank was. Most of families are devastated. Uh, what is the condition of the, fa or the, of the boy that is in the hospital? Do we know? He's in, he's in critical condition at this time. Can you get to the driver of the truck? <clears throat> I mean, the, no. the, yeah. the uh, okay. bus. Oh, 16, I thought you said earlier 16. 16. So. 16 years old. So you, you have a 16-year-old unlicensed driver in a fast sports car. Uh, you know, somehow this could be 
became weaponized in a sports car. You know, this isn't a, a routine traffic accident. This isn't comparable negligence where maybe our sergeant was doing something he shouldn't have been doing. This is a 16-year-old kid driving recklessly, and as a result, someone has died. Did he roll through a red light? Uh, no, not that we were aware of. Can you describe what Tuckahoe Road is? I've heard it described as an artery. It's very congested. Can you describe the conditions of that road? Sure. So Tuckahoe Road, uh, most of our east to west crossings, you know, get congested during rush hour. So there's not a lot of room to maneuver normally during rush hour. So if you see most of the time around that time, it's bumper to bumper traffic. Uh, so this is someone darting around, you know, finding that one opening where, you know, you could gun the gas pedal and get around traffic or somehow, uh, you know, cut someone off or squeeze through somewhere. So it's, it's almost difficult to get into that kind of trouble driving on that road. Now, y'all, because we have cameras everywhere, have you followed the cameras that led to that point and see if it was speeding through the blocks? Yes, we're going we're gonna to look at all camera footage from the businesses, from other vehicles, from the bus. Uh, and we're putting together a very, very good picture of what happened. It's important to note the video that you watched is showing a segment of what we've seen and what we know already. Where was that video from, the camera on the bus, or was that from the It was from a, a citizen's uh, vehicle. Oh. It was actually driving was on the road. Was um, Sergeant Baldino part of the motorcycle unit as well? Yes, the traffic unit is the motorcycle unit. So he, he would sometimes ride uh, representing officers at various police funerals and yes. other first responders? Yes. Okay. Now, um, the pictures that you released in November when that family wrote that beautiful letter praising him for his actions with saving their little boy, uh, he's got this million watt smile on his face in that picture. And the pictures from when Mayor Spano supervised the promotion in 2019, he's got this huge smile on his face. W was that Frank Gualdino? That was very much Frank Gualdino. Uh, and again, this is someone that we all know and someone that we all love. And it's, this is a tragic, tragic loss for us. Would you be able to release those pictures again for, for whatever colleagues don't have those pictures? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks, sir. Oh, any uh, funeral plan? I know it's soon, but any plan for a funeral regarding starting? I'm sorry, could you repeat that? Commissioner, how long had the driver had his permit? Uh, approximately two weeks. I, uh, I just, it just, uh, for what it's worth, um, we won the loss of, of a tremendous officer. Um, there's also a family that uh, has um, a 16 year old that's in fighting for his life in intensive care. You know, we were all 16 once. We all have teenagers in our families. Um, we know when you're 16, you kind of like teeter on that edge. You know, we telling our kids over and over again to watch what you do, slow it down, drive slow, and they sometimes continue to do what they want. Um, just throwing it out there, it's a, it's a real tragedy um, last night um, for a lot of people. So. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Thank you, everyone.